CNN's Donnie O'Sullivan spoke with voters in Arizona following reports of harassment and intimidation at drop boxes in Maricopa County. And as you're going to see, they were predictably upset by the fact that armed thugs are intimidating as they go to cast their votes. And Republicans and Democrats were equally outraged by this. Yeah, I covered my place because they're taking pictures and all that stuff. I mean, this is what we've come to in America, huh? These guys call themselves patriots? Really? The effects of election conspiracy theories are already on full display here in the swing state of Arizona. Armed men stalking vote drop boxes, prompting voters to hide their identities, and even cover their license plates as they go to vote. If a guy's standing over there, he's got his face covered, he's got, and he's armed, what's that tell you? They don't want you to vote. Hmm. They don't want you to vote. Ballot drop boxes are the target of conspiracy theorists who falsely believe that they were used to steal the 2020 election. It's called 2,000 Mules. Central to all of this is the movie 2,000 Mules. It was released in May and Trump even hosted a screening of it at Mar-a-Lago. The movie falsely claims that so-called mules are casting hundreds or thousands of votes at drop boxes. We're actually seeing mules be intimidated <laughs> for, you know, from doing their thievery. The organizer behind many of the Dropbox watchers said she was inspired by the movie to take action. Because we believe that there was something stolen in 2020, and just because you don't, we do. But the kind of people her group are seeing are not mules, they are real voters who are now afraid. I could never come down here alone. And, you know, I couldn't do it myself. No. I, it's I would, scary. It's just flat out insane. It's voter intimidation. The movie has been roundly debunked by cyber experts and election officials. This is not a technical report that would hold any water. This is not research that would hold any water. And indeed, when we see what governments who have been provided with this data have said, it's pretty clear that they're deeply unimpressed with this as well. Thank you, Mr. President. Even former Attorney General Bill Barr, who was appointed by Trump, told this to the January 6th committee. The election was not stolen by fraud. And uh, I haven't seen anything since the election that changes my mind on that, including the 2000 Mules movie. <laughs> Nevertheless, the lies persist. If you talk to people who don't believe that the election was fair in 2020, uh, nine times out of 10, one of the first things they're going to bring up is 2000 Mules. You've seen it? I yes. sure have. What do you think? I think very accurate. Very accurate. And I think it's, they're going to try it again. We met Enola Gay Bajinska and her son Roger outside an event for Carrie Lake, the Republican election denier running for governor of Arizona. They swear by the movie. How many times have you seen it? Four times. I've watched it three times. Republican chair of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors warns the lies in the movie are a threat to democracy. They've dehumanized folks with this term mule. These are people who are exercising their right to vote in this democracy. This dehumanization that's going on in our political discourse right now is very dangerous because it does justify uh, the use of violence. People who want to watch 2,000 Mules have to pay up to 20 or $30, a price many are willing to pay. I bought actually the 2,000 Mules to hand out to friends that are non-believers. And they come back and they go, oh my God, wow, I have How many no copies idea. did you buy? All total, I bought 12 copies. But not all Republicans want to buy into the lies. And I'm a Republican. But I'm an American first. I mean, it's funny. I mean, I voted a lot of times. I'm in my 60s. And this is the first time that an election's ever been stolen. Right? I mean, come on. American democracy has never been perfect. There are many flaws that we need to fix in order to make our democracy more democratic. But to live in this state where people are forced to cover their faces, hide their identities, hide their license plates because they fear blowback from casting their vote, it really shows you how far we've fallen as a country. And it's just shocking that one man, one clown who has an ego who refuses to concede is responsible for all of this. It's genuinely just shocking. And that old lady who said that she was afraid to vote by herself because she feared retaliation, she felt like she was doing something wrong when she wasn't. That honestly, that stood out to me the most because think of how many people aren't going to vote because they're afraid to drop off their ballots. They just don't do it because 
Perhaps armed thugs will be watching them and may accuse them of doing something illegal. And these armed thugs don't even realize that they may be intimidating Republicans. They don't know who is or isn't casting a vote for the Republican or the Democrat. So they could be suppressing the vote of their own party. But their whole goal is to watch out for fraud but they're just intimidating voters. It's just genuinely shocking. So, like, I, I see that lady and I think, how many other old ladies aren't going to vote because they just they don't want to risk, you know, getting into a confrontation or being intimidated? Or in the event they're accused of fraud and one of these imbeciles takes a picture of them and, and posts it online, they could be subjected to hatred and harassment. We saw the way that Trump targeting individuals in 2020 led to their lives being destroyed. So fearing that, I can't blame these voters for going with someone, for not wanting to drop off their ballots because of what's happening. It's so messed up. And I think that that guy who was the Republican, by the way, the lifelong Republican, put it best. This is what we've come to in America, huh? These guys call themselves patriots. Really? He goes on to say they just don't want people to vote. Exactly. That is exactly it. That's what they're trying to push for they don't want people to vote period end of story they don't want to live in a democracy they would be happy with trump as a permanent dictator so long as their side is in control it's sick it really is disgusting now a lot of these lies that group who's intimidating voters in arizona that is the product of a conspiracy theory documentary pushed by Dinesh D'Souza, a convicted criminal, by the way, and election deniers that Donny O'Sullivan interviewed claimed that they watched it three to four times and they even bought extra copies to hand out to their friends to convince them if they weren't already convinced. And this documentary is so idiotic that even Ann Coulter, of all people, debunked it pretty thoroughly, not only calling it stupid, but pointing out that Dinesh D'Souza presents insufficient proof of election fraud and he bases his entire documentary on cell phone data which first of all is inaccurate but second of all even if it were accurate he provided no evidence that any of the ballots that he tracked that were dropped off were invalid these were all legal votes that were cast now i'll link you to her sub stack if you want to read her entire debunk of that movie i also did a video on that so i'll recommend that you watch that as well i'll link to that down below but these people are so worked up over propaganda and this is what happens i mean it's a predictable result right when you are fed misinformation and lies you want to take action and you know trump's lies and this 2000 mules propaganda documentary has led to this where we have voters even republicans fearful that they're going to be harassed by these psychopaths for doing something as simple as voting i mean we've been doing this every two years in this country forever and all of a sudden, it's a big issue because there's fraud all of a sudden because one narcissist refused to concede the election. I mean, it's just it's genuinely frustrating, but I'm glad that these voters are vocalizing their outrage about this because they should be mad. Everyone should be mad because if you can't vote without fear of intimidation and harassment, that's not a real democracy. So this has to stop, and it's not going to stop until Trump and the other liars who are spreading claims of election fraud finally tell the truth. But they won't do that because it's not something that is politically expedient for them to do. So the lies will continue to come, and democracy will continue to uh, die as a result of these lies. So, yeah, it's sad, it's bleak, but at least the voters aren't just accepting it like oh yeah this is what we have to do because of fraud no they're pushing back and saying this is bullshit it needs to stop that gives me a little bit of hope do yourself a favor and click the join button on youtube to become a member because mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous many people are saying this Join today, folks. You won't regret it.